It is my decision that Mr. Abdel Basset Ali Mohamed Al Megrahi, convicted in 2001 for the Lockerbie bombing, now terminally ill with prostate cancer, be released on compassionate grounds and are allowed to return to Libya to die. He emerged from his seven years incarceration to jeers on the streets of Scotland, shielded from the anger behind the darkened windows of his police vehicle. But Abdel Basid al Magrari did not need to hear the voices, see the crowd, to know that his release has provoked fierce passions on both sides of the Atlantic. He is a dying man, but many believe he should have been left to die in prison. We've been asking for a full uh, independent appeal to answer some of the many unanswered questions since 1989, and uh, it now looks as though we should again be asking the UK government for that uh, appeal. He is clearly frail, said to have just months left to live. But as the only man convicted for the Lockerbie bombing, McGrahi is a highly emotional figure for the relatives of those who died. His ascent of the steps of a plane sent from Tripoli to collect him will have been difficult to watch. But not difficult in the end for the man who granted his release to justify. Scottish Minister Kenny McCaskill said this was about basic humanity. I did not choose to have to make this decision, but it fell to me. I have made that decision. I believe it is the correct decision, it's a decision I alone have made, and it's a decision I stand by. I fully understand the grief and hurt that is felt. That has been running with them since the 21st of December 1988. I have, though, had to make a decision on the basis of how we would normally deal with matters, and indeed on the beliefs that I believe we have as a people. McGrahi left Scotland having served just eight of his 27-year sentence. He will return to Libya to die with his family around him, a privilege critics say he did not afford to those on board Pan Am Flight 103. If this is about genuine release on compassionate grounds, I think it is wrong. This man was convicted of murdering 270 people. He showed no compassion to them. They weren't allowed to go home and die with their relatives in their own bed. And I think this is a very bad decision. That sense is widespread. McGrahi's time in jail amounted to just two weeks for every one of the 270 victims of the Lockerbie disaster. He did not act alone. Some question if he was involved at all, but he satisfied the need for justice for so many. He is free. He will get to see the home he feared he would never return to. The only comfort for those who fought his release is that he will have little time to truly embrace that freedom. Michelle Clifford, Sky News.